Here it is, the new 9.5 kilowatt battery from Give Energy. I have just taken delivery of it today. I'm probably one of the first people to get my hands on this battery. So this is what the label that comes on the side of the box looks like. I've just put a bit of tape over the serial number. And here is the battery. It looks exactly the same as the 8.2 kilowatt battery I've got. It is just bigger, it's deeper. So let me give you a quick tour of the battery. So first of all, on the right hand side, here's the label. It's got the on off button, just like the 8.2. And here's exactly the same label again. On the front, it's the same. And it has the status icons just there at the top. On the left hand side, this is where things are different. So this is Give Energy's new proprietary connector. And this battery has got the MTB built into the battery. And it also has the jumpers over there um, to tell the battery if it's a master or a slave. Okay, and it's got some other kind of terminal there um, to connect it up with something. So the complication here is that this is Give Energy's new proprietary connector. Hopefully you can get a good view. Okay, so you need a special cable to plug into that thing to connect this either to another battery or to an inverter. And this cable has not been provided to me in the box. So when I placed the order, I did my research and I'm sure it said somewhere that the cable comes, comes with it. Uh, when I received the box, there's a great big sticker on it telling me that no cables are included. What is included in the box is this. These are the wall anchors. If you were gonna kind of bolt this to the wall, there's a user instruction guide on how to do that, but that is it. Otherwise, this is the box that arrived. Here's the great big warning telling me there's no wires in there. And apart from that, it's just got foam in it, which helped to package it all together. So I've spent all afternoon on the phone to give energy and the distributors to figure out what's going on with these cables. Um, give Energy say that the batteries are not supplied with any cables. Um, so I said, all right, well, how do I connect this battery up? Because you've got a proprietary connector on there. So unless I get that cable, there's no way of connecting this battery up. An electrician or the installer is, can't just kind of improvise with a, any bit of wire and get it all hooked up. Right, we need a special cable. Um, I called a variety of their distributors to see if I can purchase the cable. The majority of the distributors as of today um, are unaware that this is needed or they don't have it in stock or they're not kind of willing to get in touch with Give Energy and try and get this accessory for me so I can purchase it from them. Give Energy don't sell directly to retail customers, they only sell to their wholesalers, so I can't get it directly from them. I, um, I called the company I bought it from and they told me, oh, actually the cable should have come with the battery. The actual battery was delivered to me via a different distributor. So I think the company I bought it from sub subcontracted it to a different distributor who then delivered the battery to me directly. So I called them as well to try and purchase this cable and they told me that the cable should have come with the battery. Even though this great big warning is there and Give Energy is saying cables don't come with the battery, it seems to me that this company accidentally advertised that the cable comes with the battery. Because as soon as I explained the situation to them, they both said to me, yep, we'll sort you out and we'll get you another cable. But then I explained to them what Give Energy told me, that this 9.5 battery has to be connected to the inverter first, and then my existing 8.2 battery has to be connected to this battery. It needs to be daisy chained off this battery. Basically, the bigger battery needs to be connect direct, connected directly to the inverter first, and smaller batteries need to be daisy chained afterwards. So my idea was to put this battery next to my 8.2 and put one cable from here to my 8.2 and I'm done. Well, I can't do that. I need to connect this battery to the inverter, which is on the wall, using one cable. And then I need to connect this battery to the second battery using a second cable. So now I need two of these proprietary cables. So I explained the situation to the distributor who said, OK, well, you know, we're going to get you the one cable for sure because we, we owe it to you. Um, no idea when. But I said, all right, well, how do I purchase a second cable? And now they're all scratching their head because they're saying, well, you know, we're only supposed to be supplying the one cable. 
we, we don't have kind of stock to sell you additional cables. So now um, everybody's scrambling to figure out this scenario. So anyway, I thought I'd bring you this update. The good news is the battery's here. It looks exactly the same as the other ones. This one is bigger, so the 9.5 is 80 centimeters tall. It's, which is 16, sorry, which is 18 centimeters taller than the 8.2 I've got. It's 48 centimeters wide, uh, which is exactly the same width as the 8.2. That doesn't include provision for the connectors which poke out, right? I've measured to the edge of here. And it is about 22 centimeters deep, which I believe is about four centimeters deeper than the 8.2. So although I'm gonna put these side by side, it's gonna stick out a little bit. But here it is, it's arrived. And once we get these cables and I get it hooked up, I will make another video and give you an update of what this looks like in real life and, and what my um, new installer I'm gonna use has to say about the commissioning process.